Alright, so history in the making, we are at a very important juncture in history, in, in the entire history of the markets. Uh, we are going to see, we are at the beginning of the larger bearish cycle. I have mentioned it in my previous post that I was fearing that we are going to see crash of the stock market and that already we are seeing signs of it. We have seen prices moving in that direction. And for those of you who have seen my previous analysis on stock market, on gold and silver, and on other commodity or on other forex markets and Bitcoin, uh, please give me a thumbs up so more and more people can see the content. In today's video, we are definitely going to look at the whole span of the instruments that we have normally, which is Dow Jones, we are going to look at S&P 500, uh, NASDAQ 100, we have Tesla. Um, so we'll look at Tesla, to, if some of you guys are actually interested in Tesla. And there's, uh, it's, it's going with the market, but we'll look at it individually as well. So British pound, euro, a very important point. We are, I've been saying that they are close to an important point, and then we are going to discuss that. Silver and gold, we'll definitely look at crude oil, and if we have some time, we'll definitely look at Japanese yen. Actually, we will look at Japanese yen, and we'll look at Bitcoin as well. So let me arrange them here, so that I don't forget when we are actually discussing that. And uh, let me bring Bitcoin right over here too. So we're going to look at all these uh, instruments one by one and let's start with Dow Jones. First of all, uh, we can now clearly see that we have uh, seen a larger movement wave 1 and 2 and we have seen smaller price movements. So the potential uh, target that I've given you guys that we are, the, the midterm target for us is 18,000 18, points. Now I have discussed it, uh, Elliott Wave analysis is not the only analysis it's used, I use in my um, in my analysis of the markets, I was feeling different studies that I normally use. Uh, for example, Gan, I would like love to love his work, and a lot of people don't understand how his work works. But it's uh, it's some of is one of the part that I use in my analysis, and all of those things are actually indicating uh, that we are seeing a, a big bearish market, and that's what we are in the earliest stages of it. So we are going to continue seeing that price action, bearish price action. Uh, if you are looking that would we have some chance, I think that we uh, can have some chance doing this one. Uh, we are definitely bearish immediately for tomorrow and then there is a possibility that we might actually see some good pullback. Alright, this pullback is not going to go in there and form this, no. There is very less likelihood of this happening, but I am expecting something like this would happen. Alright. Once again, when uh, we are uh, dealing with the market free fall, uh, doing something of this on a smaller time frame is not advisable. You do not want to take new trade on these positions at this point when market is uh, such a strong bearish or such a strong bullish, you only want to manage your trades and you want to add on to your positions when the, uh, when the market gives you a chance. So I'm expecting that we're going to see some support coming in in handy and we'll see some smaller smaller price action uh, give us some uh, uh, pull back for if you have not joined the trade then that will be a good entry point but right now I think tomorrow immediately we are going to see some uh, bearish price action be really careful the market can actually run away from here too uh, but on a smaller time frame if you are actually trading on a smaller time frame there is less likelihood that we will see the prices coming down in that case when it jumps up that will be a good entry point to go uh, bearish as well this is Dow Jones by the way we have S&P 500 we are seeing a similar price structure once again I have done some research on uh, on all of these stock indices and all of those are actually indicating that we are at the beginning of a larger uh, very large uh, price action downward at least in terms of time so we are looking for easily as per my analysis uh, next two three years are definitely bearish and then we'll see how the uh, how the uh, the bulls take over so next couple of years are definitely bearish as per my own research is concerned uh, the price action here is a little different we are already close to the uh, double bottom or triple bottom you can see I'm expecting that you, this shall actually continue this is more bearish as compared to uh, Dow Jones uh, so we can see let's have a look we have seen an impulsive price move downward and a correction. 
I'm expecting that this shall continue uh, to go with some further price action downward and I'm expecting that the uh, there is a possibility that the pullback would happen in that case and it will actually stay in this region uh, it won't go that much deep but this will be very important pullback and uh, this shall give a chance for someone who uh, wants to be bearish uh, this price action could be further down uh, and the similar goes uh, goes with the uh, as Dow Jones 30 as well that the bearish price action tomorrow could be severely down as compared to what we're expecting but a pullback definitely after that is expected Nasdaq is uh, once again as weak uh, as the, the uh, Dow Jones S&P 500 itself is concerned and uh, the Nasdaq is way overpriced and way overbought I think right now we are definitely gonna see some amazing crashes uh, this is a weekly time frame the immediate support that we are seeing on a midterm level uh, six year six months to one year is uh, right over here we can de let's push back right over here just in case that 6650 is what we are looking for in midterm from six months to a year this is when I say midterm this is what I'm looking at it from six months to a year there is the possibility that we can actually drop all the way out over here and stay in the side wave price action uh, for five six months but immediate price action is bearish there is a definitely indication of the market that is going to be bearish and the market structure is indicating that word the support and resistance levels are indicating that word uh, WD gain analysis which I do not share the analysis but I do share the result of that analysis a combination of WD GAN analysis and Elliott wave analysis everything is actually indicating that we are seeing more and more bearish action for your own concern uh, you can look at the price action we have seen bearish price movement and a correction deeper and then we have a stronger bearish price action then we have this kind of double three price action uh, right over here we have double top and this time frame which we can see that the bullish price action happen or the correction happen is very very significant it's uh, one of the Wyckoff's uh, distribution pattern we have seen a lot of distribution happening and all of those distribution and that was supposed to happen has already happened and now we can see that the bulls are not interested in the market that's what we are seeing right now on a smaller time frame though what we are expecting I'm expecting that this bearish price section would continue and once again I'm expecting there is a chance that we will see a pullback right over here too the bearish price action however can be more stronger uh, than we are expecting right over here so there's a good possibility that uh, a pullback is expected once again but uh, that pullback shall be used to to manage the positions you do not want to take position by position right over here very very bad trade is gonna be but you want to stay with the trend bearish trend is the way to go in the market Tesla I did mention in one of the, my comment section one of uh, uh, dearest viewers actually asked me about a question and said I'm sorry we have bad news on Tesla and then we have seen huge huge bearish day and a lot of people are saying analysts some people are saying that uh, Elon Musk is by interested in buying Twitter or probably the, the deal has gone through or not I'm not sure but they're very close at least so they're giving pointing a finger to, towards that deal no that's not the reason the broader market itself uh, is actually bearish it's nothing to do with that one individual to uh, deal and I think that is actually even going to contribute in the bearish it's nothing to do with this because Twitter is being bought right at the top all right so Twitter the people who are selling Twitter are in advantage because they're selling it at the best price possible at the top of the bullish run and then Elon Musk is actually adding on to and the burden on the on himself and on Tesla as well so that definitely is bearish the daily time frame is indicating you can have seen that we are going to see further price action downward a pullback is expected uh, but one once that that pullback is going to be something like this on a smaller time frame we are not expecting a deeper pullback we are expecting bearish price action and a pullback and the price action after that let's say I'm unable to do so uh, and another says or it happens so quickly before Friday uh, or before weekend this is expected after that 
and this is similar pattern goes for uh, Dow Jones Nasdaq 100 this will be a runaway market if this happen pullback happen then this way will be a runaway market and we are expecting a similar behavior in S&P that after the correction is complete or pullback is complete then we are seeing a runaway market and a similar goes for Dow Jones as well let's have a look at British pound now I have been saying that British pound is close to the very uh, very important lows we are close I did not take the bearish trade reason is because I'm aware of it that the British pound itself is and euro that includes two and Japanese yen they're very very close to forming a bottom and uh, the long-term analysis for dollar itself US dollar itself is going to be bearish so I'm not convinced that this is going to continue all the way in next year in next uh, year or next 12 months to continue the major concern is that we have seen um, this price action and right now we're waiting for the price to clear off an important support levels so there may be a lot of noise in here or there's a possibility that we have not reached the bottom right over here the only advice I can give regarding British pound right now here is that we will have to look at the important support and resistance to be broken and one of the diagonal lines is that this is an important indication I'm definitely seeing that we are very very close to uh, forming a u-turn in British pound and that u-turn is going to be the new trend in the market like, like let's see let, right we have seen right over here all right so I'm waiting for it the tail end is seems to be more volatile than I expected definitely let me close that and uh, this price action right now is terrible as far as support and resistance is concerned but as the more noise gets developed we will definitely see more structure I'll keep a close eye on British pound as I indicated in one of my previous videos right now I'm not taking a trade and I'm not advising one in British pound we might trying to see a lot of noise and there's a possibility that we have not seen the end of the bearish price action as far as once again the larger price action I'm expecting 6 to 12 months is bearish for British pound but we have to wait before the important levels are cleared a similar advice goes for euro we can now see a larger pattern being more clear right now here and which is right one this one over here and once again we, if you look at a daily time frame we have uh, support going on diagonal support and we have horizontal support that needs to be cleared before we can go long and I'm talking about a longer period of uh, trend that I'm expecting in euro that trend is uh, from 6 to 12 months or maybe 18 months and I'm expecting that to be bullish on euro and the same as I already said that I'm a bearish on dollar index US dollar itself against the basket of the currencies and I'm, expe I'm expecting that we will see start seeing some more uh, noise in a smaller time frame area on a daily time frame area and then we'll see some better resistance and support that can be used to reverse the position however if a big candle occurs that should be taken as a bullish and an important level that are already indicated to help you uh, take I'm gonna I'm, I'm right now waiting for the signals to develop in British pound euro and we have a similar position in Japanese yen as well let's have a look at silver the major swing I'm expecting in silver is bullish right now I know we have seen uh, for the price action to go up and retest the low right over here too but I'm expecting that will not be the case in longer term we are expecting for silver to clear this level which is 2397 and I'm well aware of the price action that is straight line downward but I'm bullish on silver and gold both so I'm right now waiting for silver to clear 2397 and it enters in that territory that will be the time to uh, go bullish on uh, on silver 
and then once again the target immediate target we are looking for 2670 2680 area uh, this is the the right top of the swing that I'm expecting in silver euro once again we have not euro gold keep on saying euro all right uh, we are close to the very 1890 uh, area which I did indicate we were expecting for the turn to happen the prices have stayed below the the trend line nothing has changed we have one two three and four support areas or points and I'm expecting that the bounce is expected uh, we have already seen some sort of price action on the hourly time frame and I'm expecting that when price crosses this uh, support line that will be indication that we can actually go long I am bullish on gold and nothing has changed I'm expecting that the major swing that we are uh, to benefit is bullish in gold and this is what I'm expecting and there's a possibility that we will see resistance coming in this handy uh, I did indicate that we were expecting runaway markets in uh, runaway prices trends in silver and gold unfortunately that trend has been pushed further down because clear from the bearish price action so it means that our analysis is is right in the direction of the trend but the runaway uh, which we are expecting for the uh, like something like all the way right over here is a little delayed that definitely is coming but we have to wait a little more <coughs> excuse me so I hope that you guys got it from my discussion that I'm bullish on gold and this point 1890 is an important support zone uh, before we can actually take a trade we at least need to get the price is clear the support line as well which is this green support line right over here too all right we have some seen some good uh, bearish price action and we have seen support coming in handy uh, there is a possibility that we are going to see a little more further price movement downward and that you guys are well aware of it that I'm bearish on crude oil I'm expecting that behavior is going to continue right over here too so let's see uh, how long it's going to take on a four hourly time frame I did indicate to you guys earlier that I'm bearish on crude oil uh, we have already seen uh, lower lows right over here too high in the major high that we have seen and a low and a lower low and all of these are swings right over here so I'm expecting that this uh, behavior is going to be continued further downward I'm bearish on crude oil <coughs> I did indicate to you guys that on a on Japanese yen is concerned we were expecting a pullback so we have seen the price drop below the support line right over here too before we can take a bullish position on the chart meaning we expect to trade more bear in the uh, in Japanese yen a clear of 129 is definitely interested I have indicated in my previous analysis that there is a possibility that we can see prices all the way down right over here in that case we can actually trade double bottom and go long on the chart and if that if that does not happen and the price actually able to cross this top in that case we can also take the long position on the chart as well so both possibilities are there uh, let me see how much time we have spent already because time is a major concern so as you guys can can see right now almost four or five days have been spent in that uh, in that condition I think that's good enough if prices actually crosses right now 129 we will take a position going upward and on a weekly time frame I did indicate to you guys that we are seeing uh, the next target to be at 135 let me bring that chart back all right there is the top right over here we can use this uh, this trend line this horizontal line for our target let me clear that so uh, if it clears 129 our main target is going to be 135 and I mentioned uh, I had shared this 
chart with you guys that this is a very very important level we are going to see reversal after that all right historically we have seen uh, Japanese Yang being strengthening and there's nothing that has changed I'm all considering this consolidation pattern which has started in 1992 and I believe that we are going to be very very close uh, in completion of that pattern in next few weeks are going to be very important for Japanese Yen as soon as we have reached our target and a uh, price comes below this green support line that will be an indication that the consolidation that actually started back in 1992 and which has taken almost like uh, 30 years to complete will be complete and we will go down further so that's why I'm saying Japanese Yen is at a very very important level and you're gonna see more strength coming down in a longer time frame this is monthly time frame or a weekly time frame but on daily time frame we can see that there's strength indicated or there's a bearish uh, the weakness is indicated in in a small four days correction indicating that the and the bears are still strong and the people who are interested in weakening uh, Japanese yen are still strong and they're still taking the trade if price goes beyond 129 you can definitely take a trade and keep the stop loss right over here too because if the price goes up and drops below that support level we'll have to indicate that our horizontal support which is right right over here will be able to push that right over here at that point and that's why we'll discuss more on on the weekend so I hope that oh Bitcoin is still left uh, you guys are well aware of it I did indicate on a daily time frame that I'm bearish on uh, on Bitcoin this chart that we are seeing this pattern that we are seeing on the daily time frame is poisonous if this is exactly if this is a complete pattern and uh, then I told you guys that you're gonna see definitely bullish uh, bearish price action and it's gonna be bearish for Bitcoin so nothing has changed and uh, let me have a look if we can actually draw the support line right over here too this is what we are looking at right now and we have seen a larger movement downward a correction and we are expecting a larger swing downward too we will be able to use that these labels correctly when prices move further down so I'm bearish on Bitcoin or the cryptocurrency as a whole I wish you good luck with your trading if you like my content please do press that thumbs up button so more and more people can like it and uh, the channel can take advantage or they can take some support from YouTube. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.